hello everyone uh, we have a new requirement here so the requirement is to customize the default new list form with cascading drop downs using power apps okay so let's check how to uh, achieve this requirement so first of all i have a list name with uh, name divisions and let's create a list name with name departments and a lookup field division from the first list with lookup data so in the next step we need to create a new list with name corporate with two lookup columns coming from the first list divisions and second list departments okay so based on the division selection the values must be generate in the department's drop down so let's see how to achieve this first i have already created here the division list uh, here the title is the name of the division it hr finance admin okay so now i will create a new list with the name departments and here in the departments i will take the lookup field title from the division list okay so here in the departments the titles are java.net and here java and .net belongs to the it division okay so like this i will match here and if you want to see the list settings go to the list settings and you can see here the division is a lookup field okay so so the departments contains the division list type tit uh, title field as a lookup so similarly uh, if you go to the corporate list here we have created a few columns with lookups as division and departments if you see the list settings here see now here you can see the lookups or division and departments okay so now let's customize this form with power apps okay customize you can click customize here and the form will be open here in power apps studio since i already done this requirement i am just going to show you so this is how our form will look and since here i already done few things i am just removing those things clearing the formula <coughs> and everything and this one i am giving here only just departments okay so now this is the form here you, you just preview it and you can see division admin departments are all the departments are there here these departments are coming from the uh, departments list here so we need to add this two data sources first one is corporate and for this departments list we need to add one more list that is known as departments and we need to give the data sources departments here so now in this form we are connected with multiple data sources one data source is corporate list and other is departments list <coughs> so this departments list is uh, assigned with this uh, department's uh, data card value 5 here okay and now we have an option here like depends on if you click depends on you can see data card value 4 id departments attachments okay so now in the matching field let's check what is a data source <coughs> okay here is a department's data source 
and parent control parent control data card value for means this division text box value okay so now since our department is depends on the data card value for value just select value here and in the departments matching with here you select division and click apply and here in edit fields you need to get title title here but you are not getting so you need to little bit change this filter here here data card value 4 dot selected value so here also division dot value we need so division dot value right now if you click edit here fields you can see the title title right title means uh, the lookup column titles so now if you go and click this you can see here the cascading already working see for it i will get dotnet and java so here <coughs> the cascading is working let's save this and publish to the sharepoint okay let's publish and check here what's happening so my charging is got over let me yes okay now let's go to this form now click new so we need to get let's see if is customized with power apps or not here there is division with AI admin finance HR IT and select IT and in departments only two values must come but here it's not coming it means it's not been published so click refresh once again and check <coughs> new since it's loading now i think the power apps form will be loaded so here the find items hr it and in the it java dot and now this uh, cascading is working let's save title test date of the information 25 okay here i select admin and i select stationary here from admin and let's click save and if you see here the department is not getting saved so it means that since department is um, say like it's a lookup field it's not working fine if you go to the list settings uh, departments is a lookup but it is not saving even if we select that second drop down this department is not getting saved one more time let's add give an entry here and check departments will work or not and if it is not working we need to find a workaround here we will see here date of information 12th okay estimated value is 70,000 division admin division it department dot net and let me save this and check whether department is getting saved department's value is getting saved or not still it is not getting saved so since it is lookup so we need to do a workaround in this form customization so let's go to this form again so here if you notice uh, select this card departments and come to the advanced here and here we need to check the update 
field what is exactly this data card value 5 dot selected if you give this it is not working because this is a lookup so we need to do a workaround like this O data type Microsoft Azure connector SharePoint SP list expanded reference here ID and value must be given so what is uh, our uh, the ours one is data card value 5 okay so data card value 5 here copy and instead of this combo box one or whatever you need to give the data card value 5 data card value dot select value just copy this part into the update okay now save it and publish it okay so once it's done go to the form go to the corporate list and click new item here and let's add let's fill up these values so here x y z bit of formation 14th estimate value and like find items IT departments dot it. Let me save this and now you can see dot net is also saved. So here the trick is since it's a lookup column, we need to give the format in the update field as O data data type Microsoft Azure connectors and ID data card value five and select ID value is data card value five dot selected title. So if you give this in the lookup then it will work okay this is how you can do this customization in power apps for this cascading drop downs and to be saved into the list okay thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel